Hello, good afternoon, my fellow South Sudanese. So, I'm by name Tim David. Uh, I'm an in, I'm, I'm actually an energy ex, expert and an electrical engineer. So, I need to put some comments on the Juba power. <coughs> so, as I talked earlier in my first video about the sustainable hydropower and the hydropower or the renewable energy in general. So the renewable energy actually is safeguarding our environment toward the future. That's why it is actually the best. And uh, to our current uh, energy situation in the country, South Sudan, it is only Juba having that. And in Bor, I think uh, Egypt government tried to put the coal power plant in Bor, but they are still using thermal uh, generators now. So likewise in Juba, so they are using the, these heavy generators, that thermal power, it is, it is actually producing carbon dioxide as the main output, and that is what is affecting our ecosystem. And uh, our government have let itself be manipulated by, uh, by Egypt and China. China currently is actually, uh, they, there was a training I did for five days for Nanjing University on Climate Change. So I raised the same issue that why is China funding some of the thermal power plant in some uh, devolving countries? Uh, I can take the example of this uh, thermal power. I think government of China is the one paying that thermal uh, power, uh, getting funding from uh, Egypt. So why are they funding something which is affecting our ecosystem? So the professor who has been actually on that project has never answered my question. Uh, and I need to tell my government that uh, if you are not firm toward the future of your country, there's no one who will come and say that do A, B, C, D, which is good for your, for your citizens. No one. Like our country now want to be a dumping place actually. So what is happening for that Kondokro power plant is polluting even the native because those thermal uh, big generators are, are, are taking crude oil in state. So that small island now, it will be endangered for the next uh, good uh, 10, 15, 20 years. And why are we causing problems to ourselves? So I urge my, my government to at least, by all means, you have to at least put the polar uh, project back to life so it can you will see in the next 10 years you have already installed the engine of your economy growth and that's power and you will see also there will be much investors because power is there so please you have to reconsider the, for the fuller uh, dam construction and it can be sustainable there's no way you can choose another ship hydropower that cannot generate anything for the whole country. Because if we, if I tie a little bit on Grand Nisen Ethiopian Dam, so that dam is having 1,068 megawatts. And the capacity for polar here is 1,060 megawatts. So it's actually, if we want to put that volume of energy uh, the, the Ethiopians are generating, we can't generate here at Polar. If we need to reduce it, it will depend on our power consumption. So it can, it can be okay if, if you put that project back. I'm appealing to the government. Instead of us being just uh, uh, taking cheap, cheap uh, power that is endangering our life, that's not good. So I will comment also on the issue of, of Sud Swam. 
So I really uh, acknowledge what Akecha Prout has been doing at the University of Juba and on his uh, social media platforms. Uh, I appreciate that. You know, Sut Swam is one of the world's largest uh, swam. It is ranked number three and probably can be number two after the Amazon. So there is species which are within suit. If we actually expand and invest in our tourism industry, you will see suit swamp can be our national revenue center for that section of tourism. So Egypt is trying by all means to get that water. And that's why that dredging was actually a scam. Uh, the aim was actually because Sut is now almost connecting to Nam River and when they open uh, Nam River toward the Sut, then the water will just go direct. And that Sut is what is been making rain to happen here around the uh, northern region, going to western Equatoria, to eastern. So when that evaporation, because the, most of the water are being taken away through this wind plowing so when that wind is plowing it can come and pour rains along this uh, equatorial belt toward uh, uganda so it is one of our advantages uh, we are getting from suit and currently i think there are some revenues being generated now by by this uh, uh, telephia and, and and other fish businesses so the local are actually benefiting and there's a way even uh, the Numele border is benefiting because everything is passing through Numele. So I urge my government to be critical on Egypt projects in South Sudan. And they are the one been trying to control now the Nile water within South Sudan. And the agreement that, that has been put into action by British in those years we cannot be able to, to, to respect that agreement because we are not the one who put that agreement into. I appreciate your step toward by taking Eastern Africa by then when Egypt called you and you collaborate with the East Africa to call off that agreement. Say that we can be free and we can use our water as the way we want. So it was a good step toward uh, repraining ourselves from Egypt government. So, and suit, suit water can be actually beneficial. And even if, if we now install the solar power plant in our low area of Twitch East and uh, to that uh, took, we can be able to put irrigation schemes around and the water will be direct from the suit, fresh water. And that, and that solar will be powered by, 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 the, by the sun. Either we, we, we put wind turbines along and it can actually do irrigation effectively without any hindrance around uh, the surrounding. So, but if we give our water, how, how, how are the habitats along the suit going to survive? Because immediately the suit itself will drain off and it will be empty. And if it, once it drains up, how are the livestock around and the people around the area going to survive? It will be hard for them. And for all of us, we can actually experience the negative impact of soot swamp toward our country, South Sudan. So I urge my fellow engineers who are actually energy experts and who are electricians, and, uh, and my fellow mechanical and, and petroleum engineers of Great Twitch. So we need to put that collaboration together. Energy is one of the experts we need to include in our agendas also. So thank you. And, uh, and I appreciate your presence. You subscribe to his channel. Uh, it's called Mawood Jok. YouTube channel is actually been doing great things all over. So Dinka culture and our Twitch and our great Twitch is culture. So subscribe to his channel and you, you'll be getting uh, some good videos to enjoy your day. Thank you.